as I try not to sneeze right here. What a professional. Lance, Lance is going to uh, be doing a show with Garrett and Dave next week because next Friday is a travel day for me. And so he's going to go on Saturday. And a lot of what he's going to talk about on Saturday is he's been discussing intergender wrestling. So they're going to do a show on that next week. So don't ask questions about that thing today because that's going to be next week. So any other questions, that's going to be for today's Q&A. So anyway. Well, I couldn't be trusted with Lance. What are you talking about? You, Dave and Garrett? You know, I didn't assign anybody to anything. <laughs> they asked so you're him, saying he actually suggested? You know, I can no, see Lance They asked him to do like the that. show, and he said, yes, bro. Did you ask him? He okay, so what's the problem here? I should have been volunteered for it. There is no volunteer. They said, hey, you want to do a show next week? And he said, yes, you could do you, the same thing, but you didn't. Lance, Lance should be actually asking me to do a show with me. Oh, get out That's of here. That's how this should go you're down. You're not the heel on the show, Mike. Knock it off. All right, so we got news here. That's for sure. Coming on a night where they face competition in the form of three of the four major sports, AEW Dynamite and NXT ratings, were both up from last week. This was unexpected. Dynamite up 16.6% in total viewers, averaging 901,000 viewers. 901,000. NXT was up 6.5%. Averaging 750,000 viewers. By the way, as I continue to read these, keep in mind that Raw year over year in July was down, I think four of the last five weeks, it was down over 30% year over year. The biggest and most drastic declines for Monday Night Raw have been in July, not March. When everything started getting locked down. Not April, the first month of no fans. Not May, not June. Four months of the pandemic. And then all of a sudden in July, kaboom! So you know what that tells me? When Raw has historic, never before, never before in the history of that show, have they had declines year over year as big as they've had in July of this year. At the same time, AEW and NXT are up. AEW doing 901,000 viewers. That's numbers they did in February, long before there was a pandemic. Obviously, the pandemic has some to do with this, but this is show quality. Raw sucks, and it's dying. That's that's the bottom line. AEW number the largest audience since March 18th. 18 to 49, AW averaged a point three six rating, up 20% from last week. Second best number of the year in that category for AW. NXT up 11.1%, averaging a point two zero rating. Combined 18 to 49. This is not males 18 to 49. The combined 18 to 49 for AW and NXT was 0.56. It beat all three hours of Raw on Monday. The rest of the demos was the usual. AW won everything except over 50. But in some of these categories, like in, in Men 18-49, to 49, AW did a .45. They tripled what NXT is doing. AW averaged a .29 in persons 18-34, to 34, which beat Raw by itself. Raw on Monday... In persons 18 to 34, did a 0.28. AW beat them on Wednesdays in persons 18 to 34. A couple of other notes from the Observer here. AW had 201,000 viewers in 18 to 34, men and women. Raw had 200,000. SmackDown, which is in prime time on Fox, a network... They had 183,000. So AW on TNT beat SmackDown on Fox on Fridays in persons 18 to 34. It was close with men. The WWE shows were still ahead. SmackDown 118, Raw 110, AEW 108. With women, AEW beat both of those shows. 83,000 for AEW, 80,000 for Raw, 61,000 for SmackDown. So what's been happening if you haven't been paying attention, is Raw is falling off this cliff. And as they're falling off this cliff, 
AEW and NXT at the same time are going up. And so we have hit the intersection point where now, as I mentioned on the Brian and Vinny show, AEW and NXT are the two tag team partners that hate each other, but they're teaming up and they're winning the tag team titles. Wednesday is becoming wrestling night. Wednesday is becoming wrestling night over Monday, which has been wrestling night since 1991, if I recall. No, it was 1993, early 1993, because we were watching those superstar shows. Since early 1993, Monday has been wrestling night. Now, AEW and NXT are teaming up, basically, even though they're feuding, they're teaming up to defeat Raw. And we figured that if something like this happened, it would take a long time, but... I mean, last week there was a minor victory. This week there was an even bigger victory. I mean, you know, they, they hot-shotted like crazy for Raw on Monday. I mean, there's a very good chance when you look at the AEW lineup for next week and all of the things that they've been building up forever, including Orange Cassidy and Chris Jericho and everything else that they've got. I mean, Raw, the week after a hot-shot show, it may, it may plateau but most likely it's going to be down. This could be a even more substantial defeat in many categories this coming Wednesday versus Monday for Raw, AEW, and NXT. It's very, very fascinating. This is a historical week, really, for these numbers. Absolutely. With all the vitriol that everybody throws around on each, at each other on Wednesday nights and everybody that's planted their flag either with NXT or with AEW, they they are the ones that have made something out of all this. People have been wanting Raw to change for a long time. It hasn't, so they've just gone ahead and changed. And Wednesday is the night. And it has been taking a long time, too. Just because AEW hasn't existed doesn't mean that this path wasn't started on a long time ago. You know, In the Observer, Dave wrote, Raw for July down 36.2% from the prior year, by far the largest year-to-year drop in the history of the show. The previous record drop was between April 2018 and April in April 2019. That was down 25%. And I'm sure the, the, the third biggest year-to-year probably was something from 17 into 18. This is something that has been rolling on for a very, very long time. And the reason I'm just pointing that out now is because no matter what happens on Wednesday night, what happens on Raw and on SmackDown is not going to be fixable, I don't want to say anytime soon, because of the power and the everything the WWE has at its disposal. It can turn the, the ship around a lot quicker than others, but unless they start doing it, they're, they're never going to, and it's going to take a long time to fix all of the damage that they've done.